Despite the fact that quite significant points are noted in the advantages, the newbie also had disadvantages that should not be forgotten, especially before purchasing. 1. Visibility. In the daytime, a comfortable view will be obstructed by the A-pillars and the mirrors near them. The crowded location, coupled with the angle of inclination, does not allow you to quickly assess the situation on either side when leaving the yard or when crossing a two-way road. In the courtyard, a pedestrian may enter the dead zone, who then unexpectedly comes out from behind the counter. And it's easy to miss another car on the road. As for the evening and nighttime, attention is drawn to the mirrors and side windows. They get dirty with enviable frequency in bad weather, thereby creating uncomfortable driving conditions. 2. Questions about the body. It seems that the doors cover the sills entirely, and in dry weather this is confirmed, but winter operation puts everything in its place. Opening the door and pulling out your leg, you may be very surprised to see stained trousers in an area where there should not be dirt. The seals do a good job in the case of rear openings, but in the front, not everything goes clean. Most likely, you will have to put up with this or wait for a recall, if, of course, it is launched on this occasion. I'll also add to this that the driver's door doesn't close well, and my case is not an isolated one. The funny thing is that the other doors close easily and simply, but the front left one requires a good push. I will also note the weak shock absorbers of the trunk door, which already after 700 km do not tend to lift the door. 3. Interior Lighting Thanks to the winter period, when the day is much shorter than the night, another drawback has appeared, lighting. For the entire cabin there is only a navigator's lamp in the front of the car and a small flashlight in the trunk. In other words, the interior is shrouded in darkness. The existing atmospheric lighting does not provide any light, but simply makes being in the cabin more pleasant. Therefore, if while driving, the rear passengers want to find something, they will ask to turn on the lights, which will greatly interfere with driving, especially on unlit roads. I'll also adhere the absence of at least some kind of light bulb in the glove compartment, as well as on the lower level of the center console. There is no backlight in the visors either. 4. Winter Options I mentioned that Cherry Tiggo 4 Pro is rich in various heating options, but not all of them are full-fledged. Traditionally, heated front seats only work on the cushion. The owners have spoken about this many times, not only of the 4s, but also of other models of the brand, where the situation is the same but there is no solution yet. I would also like to mention the heated steering wheel. In the temperature range from 0 degrees Celsius to minus 2 degrees Celsius, the rim warmed up for a long time. It felt like there was more heat coming from my hands than from the electronics. It was not possible to test the function at minus 20 degrees Celsius, but if everything goes in the same mode, I'm not sure that the option will be at least somehow useful. 5. Cheaper rear suspension. To be honest, I don't consider this a major drawback, because for most drivers there will be no noticeable difference between the multi-link rear suspension that was on the Tiggo 4 and the beam that came with the update. This is not a driver's car to feel such changes, especially if the driver has little experience. But the fact of cheaper and simplified design is obvious. And for some this may be almost the decisive argument. 6. Ease of use. Placing the function is half the battle, the other half is getting it to work correctly. This is roughly how you can describe wireless charging. Either everything is fine, or else there is a constant reconnection. The operating system does not matter, the presence of covers does not matter either. I will also add folding the rear row to this point. Many advertising photographs give the impression of a flat floor when the backrests are reclined, but this is far from the case. When lying down, they form an angle and give a threshold about 10 centimeters high. Of course, each of the lists can still be supplemented and supplemented, but these will no longer be such significant points. I didn't specifically include the price in any of the blocks, since it all depends on the desires and wallet of each of us. But it is worth remembering that even at maximum speed there will not be a very important point, curtain airbags. It is unlikely that the company deliberately did not mention it in the list of equipment.